What's going on YouTube? The brand new Phoenix 7X is here from Garmin and no doubt this is the best Phoenix device that they've ever made. There's so many improvements, there's so many extras, there's a lot of features that a lot of us have always been wanting on a Phoenix device. Now I purchased it about a week ago, coming from the Phoenix 6X. How do I feel? Do I feel like a winner or do I feel like I just bought something that was just a minor bit of upgrade? Let's get into this video. I'm gonna let you know how I feel a week later about the 7X. Right off the bat guys, the price of the Garmin Phoenix 6X is $999 before any coupons you might find online, before any discounts, full retail is $999. And there's a reason for that. There's so many new features in here. There's a lot of great tech inside of the Phoenix 7X. The 51 millimeter casing here is definitely a, a large size. And you can see this ring around the bezel with their power sapphire glass. That's gonna give you the solar capabilities. It also has a titanium build, which is definitely something that's gonna prove durable in the long term. You get a really nice band as well. It's a brand new and updated band from last, last year's Phoenix 6. Thankfully though, it still uses Quick Fit 26 bands. So if you wanna buy some bands, guys, Strapsco has given me a coupon to give you guys two for one deal. So check my link down below. And I did a review on their bands as well, almost just like the original OEM, but at half the cost. So I think Strapsco is giving you a really nice deal here. Definitely, definitely add some color to your, to your brand new 7X. On the back as well, we get an all new heart rate sensor, definitely upgraded and improved from last year's generation. And other than that, there's a few design tweaks that kind of set it apart from last year's model, which I'll show you right here. You can see the 6X has these screws right on the top. And on this 7X, they kind of just put the screws down at the bottom. So just a little bit of a design change. And also the start stop button on the side has a little bit of protection. If you can see that versus the old model, it's just a regular button. One more thing that I've noticed when it comes to the hardware changes on, on the older device versus the newer device, the buttons on say the Tactics Delta or on the Phoenix line seem to be a little bit tougher to press. They seem to be a little bit more durable. I'm sure they're super durable, but they're just a little bit easier to press and they they just feel a little bit, like I said, just easier to press. They don't seem as sturdy as the old buttons. Now again, technology and materials get lighter and stronger, so I'm sure they're just as durable, but I do like the way that they felt on the old models. It, there's just something satisfying about that heavy click, that he heavy thump when you, when you press a button. You actually know that you've pressed the button, so I think that's something that, that's a little bit different on the 7X, but again, the vibration motor seems a lot better on this 7X, so you win some, you lose some, I guess. But the best thing about the 7X is now we have this touchscreen, a full-fledged touchscreen on the 7X model. Now, this is something that I've always wanted on my Phoenix device because I thought I thought using a touchscreen would be the best way to kind of get to what you needed to get to without pressing a lot of buttons. And, and I have some new thoughts about that, which I'll let you guys know later on in the video. But thankfully here, if, you, if you've always wanted a touchscreen, you have a full-fledged touchscreen. Everything is actionable. Swipe right to go to the back. Swipe right once again to get to your home page. And even within the watch faces themselves, some of them have some actionable buttons there. So you can go in and you can kind of click on anything you want to see. And of course, swipe right to bring you right back to that home screen, right back to the main page, if you will. So the touchscreen on the Phoenix line is something that, that I actually don't mind. But is that a reason to upgrade over the 6X if you happen to have that? I'll get into that in just a little bit. Another place where the touchscreen would be super useful would be when you get a notification. Now, when you do get a notification, you get a nice little vibration on your wrist. But you can see here, I just got a notification. Now, I would like to go ahead and reply. But one thing you can't do is you can't pull up like a mini keyboard to reply. You still have to reply with, with some of the predetermined that you can, you can set these yourself but some of the predetermined replies. Now, more useful would be on a touchscreen is to have a little keyboard pop up. Garmin could always add that in the future, but as of right now, they didn't add that feature. And I think that's a huge miss when it comes to having a touchscreen on a watch that's on your wrist. The whole point is you wanna pull out your phone the least amount of times as possible. So without having a touchscreen keyboard, it, it's really nice in messages just to kind of scroll through and, and see your messages, but it's not really super useful if you ask me. One place where the touchscreen comes in super handy is if you use a lot of maps. I personally don't use too many maps. If I'm out on a hike, I like to keep the map trail open, but it's not something that I'm constantly like trolling the map to see what's around, but I know a lot of you do. So the touchscreen is definitely a lot easier to go in and, and kind of use your fingers to kind of scroll around to see where you are versus using the buttons. You can't pinch to zoom just like you would on any other watch, but you can touch on the plus or minus to kind of 
get closer if you need to. So the touchscreen on the maps is a great improvement. There's a lot of great new features for the maps and we do get ski view, which did come down to the, to the 6X there. That's gonna give you trail names and whatnot on the mountain that you're on. So there's a lot of improvements to the maps. Garmin definitely is number one when it comes to maps on your watch. You get so many different maps on this Phoenix line that's not even funny. So the maps and touchscreen definitely go hand in hand together. Now the touchscreen, for those of you that might say, I don't want a touchscreen on my device, you can completely turn that off. And when you activate an activity for the first time, it's gonna leave touch functionality off as well. So you won't have any, you won't have any false touches, false positives, if you will on the uh, Phoenix 7X if you keep the touchscreen active. Speaking of maps and skiing and all that great GPS stuff, you're gonna need a battery that's gonna last. So the 7X is improved 28 days in smart mode, which is basically just using this as a watch up from the 21 on the 6X. You also get 89 hours in GPS mode, basically using one mode. If you use multi-band GPS, that's gonna decrease. But the great thing for a lot of you with the 7X is you do now have this solar ring so if you're in an area that gets a lot of sun, now you're going to need at least three hours a day at 50 lux in order to, to charge this up properly. I'm here in New York City, in the Northeast, especially in winter, having sunlight is definitely a luxury that we don't have all that often. But maybe if you live in Arizona or if you live in a place that's sunny all the time, you could leave this on your wrist and basically never have to charge it. That's again, if you don't use any type of GPS, this would be a never ending, limitless type of battery life. So for a lot of you, the solar ring definitely comes in handy. Now, I personally never purchased a solar, a solar edition on any of my Phoenix or any of my Garmin lines just because, number one, I don't personally like that ring around the bezel. It just, just points more to the fact that it is a large bezel. Looking at these two watches, you can see the 6X with that dark black watch face. It doesn't really look like it has much of a bezel. If you have a darker watch face, it kind of matches, matches that bezel and you think it's one big watch. This is being a little picky, I know, but with that solar ring, especially when you catch the light, you can definitely tell how big that bezel is. And that's not going away no matter what type of watch face you have. So me personally, since I don't really use solar, that's just a little bit of an annoyance and, and I'd much prefer the all black bezel personally. I wish Garmin could kind of make this solar panel, even though it's 54% bigger than last year's model, I wish they'd make it black. I know they're probably gonna figure out a way to do that sometime in the future. But as of right now, I'm not a fan of this ring. That's just me. You can, you can debate me all you want down in the comments below. But for those of you that have a lot of sun, this is definitely going to be useful for you guys and, and you probably won't be able to live without it. To show you what I mean about solar, I barely had any, any activity, nowhere close to getting this, to, this thing charged at all. Basically zero sun whatsoever. So for me, solar is just a waste. Solar is not something that I always wanted to spend that extra cash on, but now you kind of have to if you want the big boy. If you want the 51 millimeter Sapphire Edition, it only comes in solar. A few more things that are new with the 7X. We get this brand new flashlight right on the back here. And that's a pretty cool idea, especially for those of you that run or ride at night. You can actually have it, you can actually have it match your stride as you're running. So if we turn it on, you can see it's quite bright. You can change the brightness levels of the flashlight from within the settings, increase the brightness or decrease the brightness. And if you run with it at night, it'll also match your cadence, which I think is something super cool. For those of you that hike at night, a little safety feature, this can actually flash SOS. So if you need a little help, if you fall and you can't get up, this is gonna flash SOS. So that's a nice safety feature. Not only, not only a pretty good feature if you're trying to open your door late at night. So I think the flashlight is something really cool and I definitely like that as well. Also new with the 7X is multi-band GPS, which is gonna come in super useful in certain situations. So having multi-band such as what's on the Coros Vertex 2 is definitely, definitely where technology was headed and I'm not surprised to see that on the 7X. Now I personally haven't had many issues with the 6X, but again, in certain situations, having multi-band, even though it's gonna give a massive hit on battery life, is something that, that's well welcomed on the 7X and you can choose which bands you want. So again, you don't have to keep that active if you don't need that. You also get Garmin Pay and 32 gigabytes of storage for your MP3s. You can download music directly to the watch, connect a Bluetooth headset, leave everything else at home and go for your run or go for your ride. There's also streaming services, although you still need to have a Bluetooth connection, but you can download your playlist to the watch as well. Spotify is definitely on this watch and that was on the old Phoenix 6X as well. We also get a pretty cool health snapshot, which is gonna give you your average heart rate, your blood oxygen level, your average respiratory rate, your average stress and your heart rate variability. 
So again, if you if you take this every single day at the same time, you can get a little bit of an overview of, about how your health is going. That's supposedly coming to the 6X, I believe. And a lot of these new features on the 7X are coming to the 6X as well. Of course, you're not gonna get the flashlight, you're not gonna get the upgraded hardware, and you're not gonna get some of the software tweaks, and you're not gonna get some of the some of the pretty awesome tweaks that they've done to the to the overall icons and whatnot. So if I show you the icons on the old on the old Phoenix 6X versus the 7. The 7X is definitely a little bit more updated. You can see that here. They, they, just, they just look a little bit better in my opinion. And that goes throughout. When you, do a, when you do a workout activity, so if I go to strength training, let's go to free and let's start a rep. And then if I end the, end the activity, and I'll do the same here, just to show you guys. The updated user interface definitely looks a lot better. Now, I don't know if that's going to come to 6X. I doubt it's going to come to the 6X. I think, I think Garmin's probably going to leave that for the new line, but it is much improved. It does look a little bit more modern, so I'm, I'm really happy with that as well. Now, again, guys, there's a lot, of, a lot of changes when it comes to the UI, a lot of changes when it comes to the graphical interface. They did a nice job, and it definitely looks cleaner, definitely looks more modern. After all, they are, they are trying to get you to buy the more expensive, newer edition than what they have out in the past. A new feature on the 7X is called Stamina, and it's basically an extension of body battery, which I think works really well in kind of determining how you're feeling, if you're energetic or not. But a new feature now is called Stamina. So when you're for an outdoor run or an outdoor bike ride, you can see what your stamina is, and you can see how you started and how you ended. Now again, I've only had this watch for about a week and this is gonna get better over time. But during this specific run, the watch estimated my beginning potential was 96% and I ended at 81. It was only a two mile run, so I don't think that's quite accurate just as of yet. But again, the more you wear these watches, the more it can tell about your body, the more it can really assist you with your with your health and with your with your progress when it comes to your workouts. But again, that was the same with body battery. It got better over time, and that's that's going to be the case with stamina. So I would like to see this brought to the 6X, although I don't think it is going to be brought to the 6X at all. Another awesome feature that I hope gets pushed down again, we now have the ability to change all of the settings, or at least most of the settings, from your phone. You don't have to go into the settings on your watch here to, to change anything. You can change everything from the phone itself. So you can go ahead and you can create all, all of the necessary changes that you want to directly from your large screen. That's definitely a huge improvement. I don't know what took Garmin so long to do that, but I am happy it's here. And you can also go directly to the, to the IQ store and download some watch faces and whatnot directly from the watch. So you don't need to get out your phone, open up an application. You can just troll, troll for new faces and whatnot directly from, directly from your wrist. So I think that's something pretty cool. Finally, how am I feeling after spending 1100 on a brand new watch? There's a lot of great improvements. And if this is your first Garmin device and you have the cash to do it, do not cheap out and do not buy one of the older models that you can get for about half the price right now. I would say buy the 7X. This is an excellent, excellent watch. The GPS is improved. The heart rate monitor on the back is improved as well, although I never really had any issues with the older line. Just some subtle improvements, just a little little tweak here and there, and that is the new sensor, so you're gonna get a little bit more accurate readings. Again, nothing really beats an actual chest strap for your heart rate monitor. All of these wrist-based monitors have their pluses and minuses. I would say, guys, if you're upgrading from a 6X or a Delta, now again, depends on your budget. If you're balling, definitely go for it but I don't see any, any real difference between the 6X, the Delta, or the 7X here that would warrant that extra price tag at the moment. Coming from a 5X, I would say definitely do it. 5X Plus, definitely do it. You're gonna notice a huge improvement, especially if the solar ring comes in handy for you guys. After all, it is the brand new latest and greatest 7X, and this is gonna be, be on top of the mountain until the Tactics Delta comes out, the Tactics Echo, that is. When that comes out, that's gonna dethrone the Phoenix, at least in my eyes. But I think this is a great device. I really like having this touchscreen. I think it's a great addition. It's something that most people use as a navigational tool when something's on their wrist. It definitely is, a, is something that I wanted personally. But again, without having a mini keyboard, I think it's great to kind of scroll around. But as any, any longtime Phoenix user will tell you, you actually get used to these buttons and it becomes second nature. And still, even though I had the touchscreen on this, I still found myself using the buttons. I just, I don't know, I just, I, I'm accustomed to it. But I also did use the, the touchscreen quite often, especially when kind of scrolling through watch faces. Makes it a lot easier just to flick your finger and kind of find new watch faces and whatnot. So touchscreen definitely is handy. I wish I did have it on the older line, 
but I don't think that's enough to warrant an upgrade, at least in my eyes. That's just my opinion. Let me know down in the comments below. But that being said, guys, a lot of the features are coming to the older models. Thankfully, Garmin hasn't hasn't cheaped out on that. They're actually bringing some, some features to the older lines, like the ski view map and whatnot. You should already have the 230 update on your old device. If not, go check for it now. It's gonna take some time to download. But I think this is a great device. If it's your first Phoenix line, definitely pick up the Phoenix 7X. This is an awesome, awesome watch. You will not regret it. This watch is gonna do more than you even know how to do. This watch is gonna keep up with you and give you accurate steps, give you accurate information about your heart rate and whatnot. It's just something that I don't think it's a worthy upgrade from the 6X. Again, that's just my personal opinion. But you do have a touchscreen, which is super, super useful. You have an updated heart rate sensor on the back. You get increased battery, especially with the solar ring. You're going to have battery for pretty much ever if you just use this in smartwatch mode. Or if you're lucky enough to have a lot of sunlight, you can probably recharge that GPS battery figure every time you're out and about. But for me personally, again, I know it's being petty, but I'm not a super fan of that ring. I'd much prefer just an all black look like this. It just makes me focus less on the fact that I do have a large bezel. So again, guys, it's really up to you. It's really preference, but I think the 7X is the best watch you can buy right now. Hands down, the best Garmin device you can pick up. So if you, if you definitely wanna upgrade, this is a worthy upgrade for the touchscreen alone, for the increased heart rate, for the multi-band GPS. But if you're kind of struggling and you're on the fence and you don't know, should you get rid of your 6X? I would say no. Should you get rid of your Tactics Delta? I would say no, but I think the 7X is the best, the best smartwatch, fitness watch, super watch, I call it, on the market. And that's my review on the 7X. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Catch you guys in another video.